Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing extremely well at the moment. Uh, just another update so you know what's going on. Um, I've even made a little list this time. So we're going to keep it as short and sweet as possible. So first of all, I'm going to explain what's going on with me at the moment. Then we're going to talk about hair. Hair is very important. Very important. Um, then we're going to talk about the ridiculous GoFundMe thing that we've got going on. And then the important stuff, which is the uh, cancer fighting campaign that we're going to be doing with the community. How you join up and get that signed up. Uh, so first of all, um, me. So uh, I've done my first round of chemo now, which was just like a small intro round. Can uh, chemo light, as they call it. Uh, it was quite difficult. So what we're going to do now is we're going to... Uh, we've changed it from 9 weeks to 14 weeks uh, to give me some more rest time in between. Uh, so I finished that first one now and they've sent me back home. And I'm very lucky that I can go back to uh, Alison's mother's house, which is really nice. I'll give you a quick pan. Wee. Panning around. So that is a really nice place to recover because it's, um, it's not very nice in the hospital at all. Um, so that's that. Um, back in on Sunday for the next round of heavy chemo, which I'm really not looking forward to, but it's just got to be done. Uh, so that's that. Um, next is hair. Hair's very important to everyone. Uh, so I will be losing mine in about a week or two weeks or something. Um, how, however long it takes. So. In my time in hospital, I've designed a standard issue Grim Reapers uh, cancer fighting campaign haircut. Man, oh, if you, you put, oh, I should explain why I'm upside down. I'm upside down at the moment. You can see the legs are up here. So, um, legs took a nasty hit in the whole, uh, you know, in the whole cancer thing, and so they can't drain themselves anymore. So I have to spend half the day upside down now, but that's okay. Upside down is good. If anyone can invent a way of doing DCS upside down, it would be much appreciated. Or just doing anything upside down, it would be very useful. Anyway, that's that. Uh, yeah, so back to hair. So I've designed a standard issue, Grim Reaper's haircut, a cancer, can, cancer campaign fighting haircut. And I put lots of work into it. Hair, well, I haven't, but it should be good. So we're gonna try and do that. Um, the women are coming over probably tomorrow hopefully we're gonna get that done and it's gonna be all nice and cool hopefully and um, and uh, maybe we, sh we can inspire some people with the uh, with the cancer haircut that's that and the beard as well don't forget that uh, and what's next on the list uh, oh yes the, the, the GoFundMe that Preen did that got completely out of control um, <clears throat> so they did a GoFundMe to help um, uh, cover my uh, expenses in hospital um, <laughs> just, and it went a bit silly obviously um, it's because it's got up to like uh, what, what did he get up to $7,000 I think which is bloody ridiculous um, so well obviously it's like ma massively appreciated anyone who's you know like, there's nothing I can do to thank you for it obviously <laughs> so what can you say uh, so just thank you to anyone that's uh, done that contemplated that it's much appreciated um, like we said at the start, we don't we don't need um, don't need that much for the current uh, thing that we're doing, which is um, all we need is really to cover costs of, of getting into the hospital several times a week and and just you know just general stuff like that, which is like one thousand dollars, one and a half thousand dollars. So that's all we're going to need for that. So it's been difficult uh, trying to decide what to do for the. Um, and the rest of all that money that you've managed to raise. So we thought of sort of three options and probably probably decided on one. So the first option would be um, giving it away to various charities, more you know, more needing uh, cancer charities. That was, that was one thing. The second thing is spending it um, on stuff. I'm not going to lie, I do need lots of stuff. My computer's completely falling apart and barely works. Car doesn't work anymore. <laughs> not that that really matters because I can't drive, but. You know, <laughs> but, um, but we'll come up with a third option, which would hope you agree be the superior option, which is um, obviously there's well in in the notes that I've got just over there somewhere it says that I have a um, a ninety percent chance of uh, 
survival chance basically um, uh, with the current treatment that I'm doing um, although because they've caught mine extremely late I've got a, a six and a half inch tumour underneath my stomach uh, I expect, re although they don't tell me, but I expect that percentage will be lower. So, I don't know, why don't we say a 15% failure rate or something like that. Uh, so if that happens, and I happen to go in that 15% failure rate, it would be nice to have a plan B, a backup. Uh, so I figured we'd use that GoFundMe as a save it and use it as a backup just in case it's needed and we can uh, seek a, I don't know, a, a different holistic treatment in England or USA, put it towards that or something like that. So I hope you'd, uh, I hope you'd be happy with that. Um, that's all I can think of saying on that, to, to, to be honest. So, fingers crossed. <clears throat> uh, the next thing is, um, there was work to be done. There's uh, communities to be guided and driven, and we need to fight the big cancer campaign that you know that I've, uh, that I've, uh, I want to get going. So the questions that need answering just today are. How do you sign up for that in your group or your, your solo, you know, if you want to do it yourself? And then how do you get started on that? So I'm going to tell you that now with the magic of um, the, the, I don't know, the camera, I'm going to switch over to the screen of the computer and we'll go through that. So stand by. So just to quickly go over how you can uh, sign up for the cancer campaign. So just a quick reminder of what it is. It's, uh, it's a campaign we're doing, mainly DCS and a bit of... Uh, armor as well and we're doing it to basically simulate the kind of fight against cancer that Cap's going to be doing and to basically help me out and we need to get as many people involved as possible. So here's what we do. So basically on this video that you're watching if you go to the um, uh, the video description I will put a link in there. That first link will be a link to this application here called Discord. This is what we use to do all of our social media and organization, basically. So click on that, and it will basically kick you in here, okay? Now, you won't get all the options straight away because um, you won't be a fully signed up member. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go to Welcome here. You'll see Welcome. Click on Welcome there, and you'll get these um, uh, this list here. Just quickly blast through this list, and there there is, I think, I think it's one of these, if it's number 17. If you have read all these rules, please go to that, whatever that is, and type that in, and then that will sign you up as a full-time member of our Discord, basically. That will give you access to what we need. Um, this is the main one that we'll be looking in. If, if we see under Welcome, we've got Cancer Campaign Public. This is for everyone basically who's going to be in the cancer campaign first of all is the sign up sheet so basically just click that link there <coughs> and you this is where you'll sign up so if you've got just yourself on your own or a small group um, uh, or a big group or whatever you you come here sign up you just say yes i want to join the cancer campaign Yes, I own a squad. Here is the name of my squad. Here's roughly how many people we have. And here's uh, the most reliable email address. Um, I know we can communicate through social media and stuff, but just a, in a nice static email address is going to be useful um, at some point, I guarantee. So sign that up. It's all kept privately. And then you're signed up for the campaign, okay? Then that's that done. Uh, lots of people have asked if they can join in other games other than DCS and Armour. The answer is yes. We need all the help we can get here. So if there's other games, even if I've not heard of them, join up tag along it's all good excuse me uh, so everything is going to be done we're going to keep it as simple as possible everything's going to be done in just this one box here cancer campaign public which everyone will be able to see um, so the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to try and start the campaign off tomorrow fingers crossed it all goes well the first thing that will happen will be I will uh, the Grim Reapers will do our usual um, a thing that we do, we'll do our live stream at 1800 GMT tomorrow. We, in that, we will do the main briefing. Uh, we'll show the briefing page for the campaign and for mission one, which we'll be doing. And then we'll go and run the mission, which will take a couple of hours. So we'll be finished by about uh, uh, 20, 20 hundred hours GMT. That will be okay. After that, as soon as that's done and, and it's working, then what we're going to do is 
uh, I'll put an update in this uh, section here and it will have two links it will have a link to the briefing sheet for you guys to go and have so you've got the link the, the, the brief sheet so you can brief your guys and it will have a link to the actual mission file as well for DCS because the first mission is going to be for DCS and you take that just download it from here take it and get your guys to go and run the mission basically and it's as simple as that um, you will probably want to adapt the mission slightly for your guys um, when I go through the mission briefing at 1800 GMT or thereabouts, I'll tell you what what, what you know about what you, you're going to be, how you're going to want to edit it, and stuff like that. Simple as that. As soon as you've run the mission, upload a um, um, a um, a stream or a video or anything you want to your YouTube, um, and uh, and then if uh, let us know. Um, Auntie is prob Auntie here. Static's probably going to be our main contact. Let us know that your your results from the mission, how many bad guys you've killed, and how many good guys you've lost, and then we're going to put that all in the big database, and that's going to be used for filing the campaign. So that's all we've got for the moment. So, like I said, watch out for our stream coming up tomorrow, at 1800 GMT. A few hours after that, all the details will be in here for mission one, and you guys can get cracking. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, any other information, give us a shout on Discord. It's the best place to contact us. And we'll see you later.